One thing I really liked about writing this new book was going back to the 80s, because when we first met Rebus in Knots and Crosses, he'd already been a cop for quite a few years, and there was a lot of stuff we didn't know, a lot of cases he'd worked on, a lot of people he'd worked with that we didn't know anything about. Um, and going back to that period in this new book allowed me to bring some of those characters in, some of those stories in. It was almost like writing a historical novel. There were no computers in general, nobody had mobile phones, the fax machine was still a kind of god sitting in the corner of the office. Because um, this book takes us back to 85. Um, Rebus is still married in 85. Uh, at least I think he is. He is in my version of events. I went back and checked Knots and Crosses and it looked like he had been married until fairly shortly before that book took place. So we get his relationship with his daughter, who back then was 12. Um, Cafferty, the villain who runs Edinburgh, is just a shadowy presence. Rebus hasn't really locked horns with him yet in any meaningful way. Of course, Siobhan wasn't part of his life back then. Um, some of the characters that we got to know during the series are not in this book, because back in 85, they didn't exist in Rebus's world. So it was interesting going back to that period and interviewing lots of cops, retired cops, about the kind of shenanigans they got up to in, uh, in Edinburgh in the 80s and thinking to myself, are any, is any of this believable? Because some of the stories were so outlandish. And the problem is, the real world can be outlandish, but fiction has to be realistic.